Hello everyone. Good day to you. You're welcome to Artified Optimist. It's your boy Ovi Mark. Uh, there's something I want to share with everyone today and it's about something that happened in China a few hours ago. So around 70 people were trapped after the collapse of a hotel used as a coronavirus quarantine facility in eastern China on Saturday evening. At least 38 people have so far been rescued from the rubble of the 80-room Xinjian Hotel in Costa Guanzhou City. Footage circulating on microblogging platform Vivo showed rescue workers combing through the building's wreckage in the dark and reassuring a woman trapped under heavy debris as other wounded victims were carried into ambulances. The hotel's facade appeared to have crumbled into the ground, exposing the building's steel frame, and a crowd had gathered around the area as the evening wore on. Officials have yet to confirm whether anyone died in the accident. Guangzhou authorities said over 700 rescue workers had been deployed to the scene along with ambulances, excavators and cranes. Representatives from Beijing are also en route to Guangzhou to assist in relief efforts, Xinjiang News Agency reported. Guangzhou has recorded 47 cases of the COVID-19 infection and the hotel, which opened just two years ago, was recently repurposed to house people who had been in recent contact with confirmed patients. China is no stranger to building collapses and deadly construction accidents, which are typically blamed on the country's rapid growth, leading to corner cutting by builders and a widespread flouting of safety rules. At least 20 people died in 2016 when a series of crudely constructed multi-story buildings packed with migrant workers collapsed in the eastern city of Wenzhou. Another 10 were killed just last year in Shanghai after the collapse of a commercial building during renovations. This is another colossal blow to China. So a hotel, which was constructed about two years ago, was um, turned or transformed into a house for patients who have um, had, or people who had contact with coronavirus patients and uh, they are kept there in isolation. They are quarantined there for treatment and uh, care. So the building just collapsed this evening. This is quite a touching one. And 17 persons are trapped in there it's quite obvious that certain buildings in, in that region of china are not really built to specifications i wonder why a building just two years old will collapse it's quite shocking and come to think of it these are people who are just uh, are recovering from a deadly coronavirus covid19 and now to add on top of this a building in which they are being taken care of just collapses just like that what's going to happen to their families their loved ones who are expecting them to come back home although government authorities haven't uh, stated any death yet but this is a massive 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 blow buildings shouldn't be collapsing at this period of time where china is you know really really fighting hard to combat combat coronavirus well i just wish everyone who was involved in that accident uh rescue i wish them safe rescue safety let their lives be spared all 70 persons who were trapped in there let their lives be spared uh we have news that about 38 have been rescued let the other 70 be rescued let workers be given strength and grace to be able to bring out uh, all those who need help and uh, my heart really goes out to China. I pray for China. I pray that the grace of God will help China, help them fight through all of these struggles that have been, they've been going through for these past few months. So people out there, do not forget to pray for China. Always have China in your prayers and uh, ask that the Lord would um, protect them, guide them and deliver them from uh, whatever kind of attacks they are under right now. It's your boy Uvi Mark. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button just below this video. If that is, if you haven't done that already. And if you haven't done that also, please 
uh, click the bell notification icon just beside the subscribe button so that every time I drop new videos you can be notified all right like the video using the like button just below the video also share the video using the share button also below the video thank you for your support guys keep watching Artified Optimist until I see you next time it's bye bye